I'm Paolo Melchiorre, ICREA research professor working here at the ICIQ since 2009. And my research group here at the ICIQ counts on more than 15 people coming from all over the world, I would say from very, very far away, such as India or Mexico and of course from Europe. And this of course creates a very multicultural environment that is, I think, essential for doing research. Our main research target is to make chival molecules. In our daily life we are using drugs and often those drugs are chival. And one single enantiomeric form of the drugs is therapeutically active. So this means that, that for a synthetic chemist that wants to generate a chiral molecule, it is essential to be able to selectively achieve one single enantiomeric form. And this is what we are trying to do, mainly using asymmetric organocatalysis. That means we are using a small chiral organic molecules to transform a substrate that is not chiral in a final product that is chiral and hopefully as a single enantiomer. This is a sort of biomimetic approach because, for example, big organic molecules within our bodies that are the enzymes can generate a chiral molecules as a single enantiomer that are very useful for our body. Generally, for a synthetic reaction to happen, we need to provide energy under the form of heat, and this, of course, can cost energy and a lot of money. But there is another more effective way to provide uh, energy to the reaction that is using the energy of the photons directly coming from the sunlight. And of course, sun is extremely available and for free. This is why recently we started a program to combine an antioselective organocatalysis and light-driven reaction photochemistry to make chiral molecules using the power of the sunlight. In our group, we are not only able to use light to promote photochemical reaction from colored compounds, but we can also in situ generate colored and absorbing species that uh, act as substrates for our photochemical uh, reaction. In particular, by mixing one electron-rich compound that we call a donor with an electron-poor compound called an acceptor, which are both colorless, is it possible to generate a colored association complex? When these new species absorb light and receive its energy, a photoinduced process can take place and the generation of a new carbon-carbon bond can occur. If the donor or the acceptor bear an antiselective moiety, this process can happen in an antiselective fashion. Okay, so the use of light is not all interesting from the environmental point of view. The photochemical reactions are also interesting because we can have new types of reactivity. So in conventional reactions, in order to form the decided product, we have to overcome an activation barrier. And the energy required normally comes from heating. But photochemical reactions proceed in a, in a different way. So, upon irradiation of a light source, the molecules of substrates reach an excited state that can initiate new reaction pathways and allow the formation of products that are not accessible by thermal uh, activation. Our main target is to create chiral molecules hopefully that can be useful for the society, that means finding a new chiral drugs, but for us it is also important the way in which we create this molecule because we want to make chiral molecules using a sustainable and environmentally benign way. And this is using the power of the sunlight.